Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teo here, back with some more Krasaya Phantom Trigger. Today we are, uh, I believe, being edumacated by dear little Toka in the ways of rabbit hunting. So, let's get on with that because I am eager to know how, uh, how to catch 20 rabbits. Well, that's just the kind of girl, uh, Shishigaya Toka is. She tends to hide how she really feels. Ow! Why are you kicking me? Oh, well, when you put it that way, it sounds so reasonable. ん<笑> I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely about to say that like I shipped it, and then I thought better of it. But now that she's now that she's like rejecting it outright, I, I have to like I don't know where I was going with that, but I was going somewhere with that. Eh, who am I kidding? I still ship them. Uh, hi. Does she have to contest every single little thing? そうね。答えられる範囲であれば答えますよ。あなたってハリスハ、それともベルサハ？Is this another gun thing? はい。バイポットだね。あ。すみません。何も知らないですね。私。いいのよ。わざとわからないこと言って困らせてやろうってただの意地悪だから。さあ。Refreshingly honest, I guess. I like this little silver haired silver haired girl, like the more she opens her mouth. I wonder if that says bad things about me, like as a person. Okay, yeah, I totally ship it. Uh, Methinks the lady doth protest too much, I believe, is the, uh, the quote that is relevant in this situation. She doesn't mean any harm, though. Uh, on second thought, she clearly does. You're right. That's what makes Toka Toka. She's impossible to hate. My conversations with the children in the class have taught me all sorts of things. Specialist terms crop up every now and then, but that would be true of dealing with students at any vocational school. And since I'm the one who decided to accept the job, it's me who needs to pull my socks up. That's why I'm noting down any unfamiliar words and looking them up later. It's the least I can do. There are more new terms to memorize than I'd imagined, but you'd encounter the same problem going into any new job, and overcoming it is what makes me feel like I'm truly earning my keep. Although it's going to be interesting if Arisaka starts, like, recognizing all this gun terminology, but they don't show her learning it on screen, so the audience is still, presumably, uh, like, left in the dust. Right? You can't really ask... Like, Ar Ar Arisaka is presumably the person through the lens that we're viewing the story, right? Like, there's sort of a toss-up as to whether she or uh, Haruto is the true protagonist, but for the most part, we've been seeing everything from her point of view. So it becomes slightly problematic from a narrative standpoint if sort of her knowledge base diverges too heavily from ours. So, like, they, they say that she's, like, putting in all, all this, like, effort to learn the new terms, but it's kind of unfortunate from a narrative standpoint that they can't actually show her like showing off that knowledge without sort of creating a gap between the knowledge of the the reader and the protagonist i don't have any troubling issues aside from that for the time being the children aren't exactly a handful 
Nana san is exactly as she appears. She's cheer cheerful, kind, and she likes Aoi kun a lot. So maybe a little too much? It certainly looks like that sometimes, but I wonder what's really going on. And what did she mean by saying that he bought her? I wasn't sure if I could ask her directly, so I wasn't able to confirm what she'd intended. Maybe it'd be better to ask Aoi kun later. I'll make a note of it. Like everyone says, Toka-san tends to hide her true feelings, and she's a little sharp-tongued. She's always irritable and violent, but she's definitely, definitely not a bad kid. She might appear childlike with that small stature of hers, but she's a deep thinker. I don't know if it's a form of pride exactly, but it's clear that she understands exactly what kind of person she is. Does that make it better or worse? Like, I run into this, this same issue in like my own personal life, where I'm like, wait, if I acknowledge the fact that I'm a soulless son of a bitch, does that make it better or worse? Like, does it make it better because at least I'm being honest, or does it make it worse because I'm not making an effort to reform? These, these are the kinds of questions that keep me up at night. Oh, damn it, I forgot to uh, look up what the bamboo shoot candies look like, because that was the other question that was going to keep me up at night. And that one I can actually come up with, like, a, a solution for. Like, Google Images is a hell of a drug, but I forgot. I'll, I'll have to remember to do that after this. Here's a sticky note on my desk. I'm going to write it down. Bamboo. All right, we did it. Go team. I don't want you coming to me with every little problem, but when you're really backed into a corner, come talk to me before you go off deciding things on your own and digging an even deeper hole for yourself. That's what she told me. She doesn't want people to expect too much of her, but she doesn't mind people depending on her either. She's easy to read, even if she can be a challenge to deal with. The problem with Murasaki-san. She's the only girl I still have no clue about, or more specifically, I don't have any clues to go on. She changes her manner of speech every time I see her, and whenever I ask her something, all I get is gibberish. Her personality is constantly shifting, and impossible to grasp. And what was all that about ninjas? I get what a ninja is, but could she actually be one? And a Russian ninja to boot? Was she trying to mess with me? To top it all off, I just can't get a read on her. Or maybe she doesn't emote enough for that to be possible. Plus, she rarely laughs. Well, I've never seen her laugh, at least. When I asked her about that, she just replies that ninjas never laugh. Since I wasn't sure whether she was joking or not, I could only mumble and nod along in response. Maybe I should try discussing this with Aoi-kun? I like how this person doesn't even get a name, they're just pretty girl. I should just, I should do the same thing, like when I, when you have those like name tags, right, that says like, hello, my name is, and you fill it in with Sharpie, I just write like, hot guy. Because really, that's all people need to know about me. Who is this girl? Maybe I've met her before somewhere? Huh? What? Why is this kid being so casual? Have we met before? Was she the girl on the broadcasting committee who set up my mic when I addressed the school assembly? No, it's not her. That girl was taller and had short hair. And who's this? Yeah, come in. Welcome back. How was it? Oh, you got it from the What's Right. Well, how about you sit down first? I'll pour you some tea. Is that okay? Which would you prefer, miss? So let me think here. There is the faint possibility that this blue-haired chick is... Like... Is... Murasaki? That would be weird. Like, it would require a wig or something. I'm, like, trying to think of if there have been any other characters mentioned at this point that this character could be. Like, who we would know. Like, it could certainly be somebody that Arisaka knows from an event off screen. But they're, like, dragging it out long enough that it makes me think that it might be Murasaki. Just because, like, there was just that, like, little monologue about we need to figure out what's going on with her, because... 
we're not sure if she's constantly trolling us or not, and we're a teacher, so we should, you know, get her know her, get to know her better, so we can, I don't know, I don't know, you know, you know. But in any case, it like makes me want to think that this person is Murasaki, and I guess the only real issue there is the hair color. Like this is a much lighter shade of blue than Murasaki's hair, if I remember correctly. Like her sort of deep-seated personality issue might be that she just like has either like very dramatic mood shifts or like split personality disorder or something. Like that was sort of like lightly alluded to a second ago when they were talking about how her sort of her personality shifts super rapidly. Like, can I go back? Oh, I can scroll up. Let's see if I can find the... She changes her manner of speech every time I see her. And whenever I ask her something, all I get is gibberish. So, like, that could be alluding to the fact that she sort of has, I don't know, disassociative identity disorder or something. It's also possible that I'm reading too far into this and this is just a different person, which is, like, what Occam would have me believe. Like, from, from like, a meta-narrative standpoint, it makes more sense for this person to be uh, Murasaki, but... From like an Akem's Razor standpoint, it makes sense to be just a character that we haven't been introduced to yet. What's the matter? Huh? No, it's mostly Chris who takes on anything secretarial. Hey, Murasaki, didn't you tell her? Ah, oh, got it! I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Huh? Oh, that was not the uh, color of hair I was remembering at all. I was thinking more of a purple, given her name. But I guess her name refers to her eyes. I mean, obviously it's a name, it doesn't have to refer to anything. But her hair was... I remembered her hair being more purple than that. But sort of more pink. So yeah, I guess the Murasaki's, from like a meta perspective, referencing her eyes. Murasaki? Hmm? Murasaki! Hmm? Hmm? Nani? Did you make it clear to Miss Arisaka who you were? No, you don't get it. Fine, just get changed, take off your makeup, and fix your hair. Oh my god, she's wearing contacts too. What is going on here? Is this... I mean, her whole shtick is that she, like, does ninja things, right? So... I guess disguises are just sort of fall under that oeuvre. Huh. Yeah, I don't know quite quite what to make of that. Just leave it. Nope, that's the one and only Ikoma Murasaki. Also, apropos of nothing, that scarf is super cute and I want one. Today's job involved mingling with some big shots at a symposium. That's why she had to go in that outfit. Symposium? Yeah, it makes sense. Ninjas buy stuff. Oh wait, that sounds like a symposium that like she was like actually supposed to attend, as opposed to one she had to like infiltrate for a job or something. Never mind. My, uh, my hypothesis about spy stuff seems to have been debunked. Basically, it's an annual discussion about what new equipment to use and who will take responsibility for any students we put in the field, even if they're from associated educational facilities. The rules governing how we treat personnel and equipment change year after year. You can't realistically expect us not to attend. Oh, I see. So they're not technically supposed to show up because it's, like, not information they're supposed to have just yet, but it's information that is going to directly impact their, like, lives and work, so I guess there's, like, a tacit understanding that they're going to send somebody undercover. That's funny. Looking pretty makes everything that much easier, don't you think? 
腕に絡みついて「パパ私あの装備欲しい買って」って言えば大抵買ってくれるしねちょろいなおっさんあ、uh, don't know what to say to that 何やらせてるんですか It's not me! Principal's the one who sent Musaki and it's supposed to be her job anyway 学園長の色仕掛けは生臭さすぎるしもうそういう年でもなかろう I 100% believe that. You shouldn't say bitchy things like that so casually. Man, this Murasaki chick is like hella savage. Ichiru-san gives you these kinds of jobs precisely because you say things like that, you know? I know. なんだか私、ますます紫さんのことがわからなくなってきました。まあ忍者だからね、理解するのは難しいさ。Yeah, in retrospect, like this explanation makes more sense than the sort of convoluted one I came up with about like split personality disorder. You don't even want to be understood. 君にそれを言われるのは少し悲しいな。Let's talk about this some other time. Murasaki sometimes wears disguises. Once you get used to it, you should be able to tell it's her right away. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. No,、oh, really? If you ordered her to laugh, she'll laugh, you know. <laughs> Murasaki, laugh. <laughs> I feel like I should be concerned right now. Like, I'm not concerned, and I feel like I probably should be. See? Yeah, <laughs> Interesting. So maybe that's gonna end up being like her sort of character arc, like learning how to express her emotions. Although it's, it's sort of unclear what sort of the end game is here. So. It's difficult to make sort of broad assumptions about what various characters' character arcs will look like. Like, without going into any sort of overt spoilers, the cast in the original Grisaya, it would have been very difficult to guess at a l most of the sort of underlying neuroses of a lot of the characters that they like, their arc is devoted to them overcoming. So. And that makes sense, right? Like, in, in real life, somebody with like, a serious mental disease is likely to go to non zero efforts to conceal it from the rest of the world to appear normal. And that's neither here nor there. But it does make my job a little more difficult, given that I've just assigned myself the job of like, predicting what's going to happen down the road in the story. <laughs> 普段の自分を大げさに演出して仕事の時には個性を消す忍者もいるけど私はそういうの苦手だから I'm also like still super distracted by the scarf like I'm like half tempted to like close the let's play right now and go on front wings website and see if they have a merchandise section because I really want that scarf like it's a scarf But it's also a cat. It's a cat scarf. And, like, those are two of my favorite things cats and scarves. And, like, I don't know who had the brilliant idea of combining these two things, but I think they need, like, a Nobel Prize or something, or, like, a Pulitzer. Just give them whatever award they want. Like, they want a Hugo, give them a bloody Hugo. They've earned it. So, you know this girl. Oh my god, it even has like a little tail. Dear god, you're not worthy. 
それに私の場合自分に似てない方が演じやすい普段の自分に近い方が逆にボロが出やすいっていうか油断しやすいし何も考えてない発言とかで失敗するそれだったら自分と真逆の性格を演じてる方がいつも緊張してる分失敗も少なくてやりやすいしやってて楽しいかななるほど That's what's so amazing about Murasaki. When she's on the job, she'll even sleep in character. それはなんていうかすごいですねまあ忍者だからねうんでも想像していた忍者のイメージとはちょっと違うかなわかりやすい語尾があった方がいいでござるかニンニンあー、what if? And I'm just throwing this suggestion out there. What if you didn't? Like, what if instead of doing that thing, what if instead you did a, a, a different thing? A thing that wasn't that thing? いいえ、そういうんじゃなくて、忍法とか使ったりするのかなって思ってたから。例えば水遁の術とかカトンの術とか Uh I don't think that's how real life works. I think our good friend Arisaka has been watching too much Naruto. 私は忍者だけど忍法は使えないよ。忍法は使えるけど。忍法って何 Well, I believe one of them involves Throwing fire out of your hands, and the other involves things that are possible in real life. Some of my names, it's a mess, 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 In a Grisaya visual novel, like, you might have actually been the first one, and you're, you're starting to slip. And, like, I recognize that, like, bringing yourself down to the level of the rest of the cast would be really easy, and possibly even entertaining, but you, uh, you have to be the bigger woman than that, Arisaka. You have to, uh, resist the temptation to, uh, slip into madness. No! That would be a no, Captain. That would be a hard no. Like, a real hard no. Like, I can't remember what it's called, but there's like that scale. Like, the, the Mohs scale, maybe? With like hardnesses of rocks and like diamonds at the top, right? Uh, we're like an 11 on that scale. I think diamonds are like a 10. We're like an 11 on like the hardness of our no. Come in. 失礼しますあら今日は随分と賑やかですね。Really? There's always somebody kicking up a great fuss in here. お茶入れましょうか。お湯なら今沸かしてるよ。だったらあとは私がやります。紅茶ですか ?Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. それじゃあ私もう行ってもいい ?Yeah, thanks, good work. シンポジウムでもらってきた資料は置いていって。ハルトに渡してあるよでは後で私のデスクの上にお願いします目を通しておきますので Thanks, we'll do So, what do you want to ask me? えー、っとあー紫さんのショックで内容を忘れてしまいました確かメモを I mean, if I remember correctly, you were going to ask about Murasaki's So, mission accomplished, I guess? レナさんのことで少し確認しておきたいことがありまして。Oh, was that it? No, that's funny. レナ、did you do something? いいえ、そういうわけではないんですが、彼女があなたに買われたと言っていたのが少し気になりまして。Oh yeah, I like didn't have a good hypothesis for that one. Like I was, I was like a little bit confused about that. Not confused, but like interested, right? I was like, huh, what did she, what did she mean? And I was like trying to come up with a hypothesis, and I couldn't think of a good one. Like, to the best of my knowledge, there aren't like slave auctions in 21st century Japan. 
least not in the real world, at least not in the eyes of the public, not in any sort of a legal capacity, certainly. So that, uh, that kills the obvious explanation. Like, I'm trying to think of a context in which you would buy another person. And, uh, coming up blank. And I think I would be a little bit concerned if I wasn't coming up blank. So, uh, we're gonna let the game tell me, uh, what exactly they meant by that line. Ah, that. Ah, it's okay. It's nothing important. Where should I begin? She claims I bought her, but it would be more accurate to say that I hired her. Oh yeah, so that's like a thing you can do legally. You can like give them money in exchange for services. Wow. What a world we live in. Markets and such. It still doesn't explain like the choice of the word bought as opposed to hire. Because that uh, carries with it certain different implications. But this is a good start at least. We're uh, trudging out of like deeply unwholesome territory into poor use of words territory, which is a much better place to be than where we were before. Right, I hired Rena to be my shooter. Wow, that's uh, way less sketchy than what I was imagining. Like I said, my mind is pretty much perpetually in the gutter. It's a long story, so I'll spare you the details. When Sirs was un undergoing reform, a new rule was passed allowing every inspector to carry arms at all times. I've always been terrible with guns, but I was told by Sirs to carry one anyway. Being permitted to carry arms should mean that it's equally alright not to, but when I pointed that out, I was told not to split hairs. Don't you think that's a little odd? Well, after that, they gave me a gun that was easy to fire and made all sorts of modifications to make it easier to aim. But I just couldn't help the fact that I was terrible with firearms. Ultimately, I decided to have somebody else do the shooting in my place and have them accompany me everywhere I went. Basically the same as carrying a gun, right? It's like carrying a person carrying a gun. The same difference. I mean, yes, if you want to view it logically, but... We're in Grisaya now, lady. We are, uh, we left logic at the front door. Right, let me give you an example. A millionaire goes to purchase a luxury car from a fancy car dealership. He chooses the top grade model, the full works, and while he's being led to another room to sign the papers, the millionaire says the following. By the way, where can I buy a chauffeur around here? If you're a bad driver, you can just hire a chauffeur, right? My hiring ran is exactly the same. She came into my employ when she was still pretty young, so I guess this idea of her being bought has stuck with her. God fucking damn it. I was like... It was, what, three minutes ago or something? I was like, there's no auctions in modern-day Japan. You can't just buy people, but... I, uh, I forgot rule one of Grisaya. Common sense, front door. Oh, that story? Auction. They hold them overseas for bodyguards, mercenaries, and the like. PMCs and other organizations with dist distinctive needs use them to buy their way to a full-strength fighting force. I mean, I guess I was technically right, it didn't happen in Japan. Among the exhibitors are former terrorists and revolutionaries of, uh, questionable origin. If you're not careful, you can end up getting more than you bargained for. At one of those auctions, I found a company putting specially trained orphans up for sale. Reno was one of those children. She did strike me as an intriguing, intriguing kid during the inspection. But to think I'd actually end up buying her. Yeah, that's right. At each booth in the bidding hall, there were two buttons, one to raise your bid and another to cancel it. The exhibits were introduced on stage one after another. You pressed the former button to place a bid, and each exhibit was awarded to the highest bidder. The hall was extremely crowded that day, so I thought myself lucky to have scored an empty seat. When Rena's turn on the platform came along, I felt interested enough to place a bid on her, so I went ahead and hit press the button, only for it to get stuck. I couldn't believe it. I desperately tried to pull the button back out, but since I'd cut my nails the previous day, it wouldn't budge. Wow. Does Rena know this story? Because I feel like one would get super disillusioned if they discovered that the, like, course their life had taken was pretty much solely due to a button getting stuck. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I would be a little bit depressed after hearing that. With the button depressed the entire time, I watched the figure rise higher and higher, and then finally I managed to get it back out. It's 
It's like sitting down in the only free seat on the train, only to find a puddle of vomit from some drunk right in front of you. I learned that day what an empty seat in a crowded place means. It was a valuable lesson. I mean, it's like the same logic that, like, a, a, a car dealership will, like, let you take a car home for the day, right? Like, once you have something in your possession, you're much less likely to, uh, to not buy it, right? It's like a, a psychological trick. Like, once something's in somebody's possession, they, like, psychologically think of themselves as owning it. And then humans are very, like, loss averse. So, they're much more likely to end up actually, like, paying for it and buying it. Like, for real, once it's in their possession, even if they don't, at that point, technically own it. Well, she's a bit irritating sometimes, but she works hard. Though she is a bit irritating sometimes. Because she can be so irritating. I don't quite understand. I don't have any idea how it might f how it might feel to buy a person at an auction, and I can't really empathize with somebody who could laugh off the instant like it was just another funny story. I know that world exists, but I doubt I'll ever be able to grasp it myself. Miss Arisaka, you serve as the Academy's window onto the outside world, in a manner of speaking. When a bunch of weirdos like us gather together in one place, they often don't realize what's so strange about each other. We're extremely grateful when those teachers try to comprehend the school and its students, but there's no need for you to agree with everything. Like... Can we start with, like, complaining about the uh, use of the phrase buying a person? Like, it is one thing to say you, like, purchase somebody's services at an auction, like you hired them as a bodyguard, and there was a bidding process involved. There's another thing to say that you bought somebody, so uh, can we complain about that use of uh, words first? Because I would like to complain about that. I'd like to uh, issue a complaint. Please don't forget that every student at this school is unusual in some way. That's, uh, yeah, that's in large part down to the principal's tastes. There seem to be some exceptions, though. Wait, it's like a thing? That's messed up. I'm now deeply concerned. I was concerned for a number of reasons up until this point, but now I have another reason to add to the list. Big list I keep in my head of reasons that Mihama Academy is deeply concerning. Wow. Fucking harsh. I mean, there is a very real chance that that was like actual foreshadowing that there is there's like some weirdness associated with the with how Chris got accepted into the Academy. I, I should not be so quick to dismiss that off as like a, a one-off gag. I have been burned by that in the past, but at the same time, that was really funny. Any girl, no matter how ugly they actually are, can end up looking oddly adorable if you keep insisting how cute they are. And then they start acting cute too. Girls truly are mysterious creatures. Uh, I don't know how to react to that one. No comment. Is it just me or is like half the cast in this in this story just like insanely brutal? Like I'm not complaining, but like these people are like real savage with the insults. That's actually the first step of brainwashing, you know that? 
Kids are susceptible to brainwash. Kids that are susceptible to brainwashing will actually get stronger if you tell them they're strong. You're right. It's not a very nice word, is it? You might say it's closer closer to subliminal messaging, actually. When you tell a kid they're strong subconsciously, they stop feeling any embarrassment around that word and start putting their all into their training. Also, that's kind of annoying. When I like move my mouse to the top of the screen while it's in full screen mode, it, like does this. Like, it's not the most annoying thing in the world, but it's, like, kind of annoying. It's the same when you tell a child they're cute. They'll subconsciously start uh, trying to act that way. There are a bunch of cute girls here, here, because that's the way the principal likes it. But don't you get the impression that they're all the sort who'd be more susceptible to subliminal messaging? In other words, the kids here who don't instantly strike you as cute are the ones more resistant to brainwashing. That is, uh... An interesting worldview. We'll leave it at that. Those who are resistant to subliminal messaging are better suited to complex psychological warfare. They never lose sight of themselves, and they're not tempted to give in to their own immediate desires. People like that are useful in their own way. So wait, is this just like a roundabout way of complimenting uncute people? I'm not even a little bit sure what to make of this Haruto character. Like, is he, like, hella suave? Is he a giant asshole? Like, he's a self-admitted asshole, certainly, but, like, is he actually an asshole, or is he just playing one on, uh, TV? I wasn't necessarily talking about you, you know. You're the type who's super susceptible when it comes to subliminal messaging, which is a roundabout way of, roundabout way of saying that she's not cute. You play deep, deep games, Haruto. You're, like, working on multiple levels here. And I respect that, but you also scare me a little. You hadn't realized? With the cooking, for example. Chris now takes charge of making meals for all of her housemates in the school dormitory. But she wasn't able to cook at all to begin with. She was only able to make eggy rice or uh, add mayonnaise to canned tuna. Then one day, Chris made this exquisite curry. It was so delicious that everyone lavished her with praise. Ever since then, Chris has gotten better and better at cooking. Wait, isn't that the opposite of what you just said then? Like, you were saying that Chris is... Resistant. Wait, did you say susceptible or resistant? Oh, he said susceptible. Okay, never mind. I, was, I got it backwards. Okay, never mind. So wait, so he was saying that she is cute? I'm so confused. I feel like Haruto is like outplaying everyone in the room, myself included, just constantly by his very presence. いつの話をしてるんですか。そんなの昔の話です。お話を聞いていると、クリスさんが可愛くないみたいに聞こえますけど、クリスさんも十分可愛いですよね。Nah, she used to be cuter. Want to see a picture of her when she first joined the school? I mean, for blackmail purposes, obviously. It's a photo you submitted with your entrance form. Look, her hair is all messy, and she's wearing these dorky glasses. It's like she came straight from the boonies, right? Isn't that little country bumpkin the cutest? Wait, I want to see the picture. Hey, this is the only copy! You better give it back later. Wait, it's the only copy? I suddenly lost, like, 10% of my respect for Haruto. Like, if you have important blackmail information in your possession, like, you make backups. Come on, dude. It's like common sense. That's kind of twisted. でも、わかるような気もします。私もそういうところありますから。とにかく、この写真は処分します。Hey, where are you going? I told you that's the only copy. Give it back. No, no, Chris. Keep running, keep running. Keep running and never look back. 
Yeah, I promise. Lies. Hey, don't just walk off with it. Jeez, what was all that fuss about? Really? She's a jack of all trades and master of none, and she ends up taking on all the worst jobs. Other kids are prioritized when it comes to applying for equipment subsidies and holidays, but she's not the kind to complain, so I end up putting her right at the bottom of the list for everything. So that makes you an asshole. Like, if you recognize this, then you should uh, take that into account when assembling the lists. I always feel bad about that, but Chris just smiles and says she doesn't mind. In my opinion, that's what's cute about her. Though if I ever said that in public, I'd get a punch in the gut for sexual harassment, so I'd keep my mouth firmly shut. I feel sorry for Chris. I make her put up with so much, and she's just so nice about it, you know? It's fine. Before we get e even get into what makes a kid strong, I just want to say, Chris can't actually hold her own. She might not look it, but she's the scariest one in the class. That's right. Rena might look strong since she's so tall and wears her heart on her sleeve, but she's actually the wimpiest in the class. Big crybaby, frankly. You must have noticed, her behavior is kind of childish, right? It's probably due to her upbringing. Her physical and mental maturity are a bit out of whack. It's only one part of it. It's not such a big issue. She's not really that abnormal. And what you see is what you get. It's Togo who isn't quite as she appears. With the front she puts on, she looks rather violent. Perhaps kind of rough around the edges. She's actually a total neat freak. The books on her sh if, if the books on the shelf aren't in order, she'll up and sort them herself, and she's been known to turn up to meetings an hour early. She irons all her clothes crisply and fo folds them corner to corner, and it's a mystery how she manages to fit everything in her work bag, like she's st stacking tetrominoes. Her mother's German, so maybe she gets it from her. Technically, her first language is American English, which is why she speaks so informally, even to authority figures. With Japanese people, she can come across as blunt or a bit arrogant. I'm not sure why, but she's always brimming with confidence, and she's a total wisecracker. She'll often try to act all grown up, but she's basically still a little kid. It's just impudence. You can lecture her all you want, but she won't listen. If you want to try and get Toka to reflect on her behavior, you should just ignore her. Just look her in the eye and brush off whatever she says. She'll get really riled up at first, but she'll calm down eventually. I'm the one who deserves your pity. It's me she's always kicking. You don't need to take notes or anything, okay? I'm just giving you my own views on the matter. Take them with a pinch of salt. Ah, uh, Murasaki's... Yeah, she doesn't talk about herself much. In fact, she's a girl of very few words. She often uses strange analogies, and it can be difficult to tell what she's thinking. Beyond that blank expression of hers hides an array of emotions, but she's not the type to let them bubble up to the surface. So you really have to puzzle her out for yourself. She's not bad at it. It's just that she thinks other people will get mad at her if she depends on them too much. Things are going well now, aren't they? どうでしょう。みんな話しかければ答えてくれますし、慣れない私に気を使ってくれているのも分かります。でも本音を隠して上手に付き合われているというか、まだよそ者だと思われているような気がします。Work is work. It's not so much a matter of them hiding their true selves. I'm sure they're just afraid of you reacting with disappointment once you encounter that side of them. You're teaching the general course, so I don't think they look at you that way. 
時間をかけて少しずつ彼女たちに信頼されていくしかないんですよね。The special girls. There are lots of things you're still not used to, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. だといいのですけど。The children here are indeed all special. But maybe I'm too fascinated with, by what's apparently special about them. When I see something out of the ordinary, I tend to fixate on it. On the other hand, I get a little disappointed when I discover some aspect of them that's comparatively normal. It's important to notice when things are different, but isn't it also important to pay attention to all the little things that are the same as they are at other schools? Arisaka sensei, konnichiwa! Hi, konnichiwa! Being able to greet each other properly in the hall. That's normal. In an everyday exchange like this, she doesn't appear any different from a normal school child. I don't know what to make of that. I feel like you would like sit on that like a non zero percent of the time on accident and it'd be super obnoxious. Like, is that is that the goal? Is it to like force her to pay more attention when she sits down? Like, I don't know, be aware of her surroundings or something? What is, what is the objective here? What could, be, what could it be for? Maybe it's a new trend? I strongly doubt that one. When I was in middle school, kids would dangle all sorts of ridiculous charms in their bags, so maybe that's what it is? Perhaps a good luck charm of some sort? That part of her is normal for a girl of her age, and even kind of cute. I mean, the super boring explanation is that, like, she often finds herself, like, needing a clip for something or another, and, like, Never has one handy, so she decided to stick one somewhere where she'd like always be able to find it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be a little bit disappointed if that's the actual explanation, just because it's so boring. Back when I was a student, some of the popular girls would roll up the tops of their skirts to make them shorter, but skirts that length are pretty normal these days. Oh, it's to weigh down the skirt? Wow, that's even more boring. I mean, it makes sense, which I guess is uh, an oddity in this school, and I should be glad of it, but man, that's really mundane. I was expecting something more outlandish. She can't even pull it down since this is the standard length. I feel like the longer skirts we had in the old days were more convenient. We were able to adjust them as we pleased. You can't please everyone, but at least the skirt can be taken in if it's too long. I mean, there's always this solution of wearing bloomers under them, right? Like, I'm not an expert in women's clothing, but I feel like that is probably a reasonable solution. Alright, there's here here's the Grosaya I was waiting for is, is coming up. Because like up until now this conversation was far too sane and uh I have the feeling that it's about to get less sane. Oh, okay. It's not quite as insane as I, as, I, as I was expecting, but like, it's at least a little insane, right? Or like, not as sane as the first explanation. Again, we've made the, uh, the critical mistake of forgetting to leave our common sense at the door. I would say I won't make the mistake again, but I totally will. Wait. I don't get how the paperclip help or the the bulldog clip they called it. I don't think that's a real thing, or it probably is a real thing, but I don't think that's what anyone actually calls those. I think they just call them like clips, but like maybe they call them bulldog clips. 
I don't actually know what that kind of clip is called. I guess it's a bulldog clip. Anyway, I don't see how the bulldog clip helps with that, right? Like, it's possible that I'm just, like, failing to imagine the sort of geometry of the situation properly. But I, I don't feel like the clip does enough to mitigate this problem. So, そうなると引っ張ってもうまく宙が抜けないことがあって下手すると1秒くらい遅れるんですよねそれが訓練ならあちゃーで済みますけど現場だとその1秒が命取りっていうわ実際私前にそれ現場でやっちゃって9ミリ
ご心配をおかけしまして何かお仕事の途中だったのでは Like, I feel like I should probably make a comment about her, like, go to analogy being about stepping on landmines. But I also feel like that if I comment on every little thing like that, we're gonna be here forever. Like, it's Grisaya, so, like, offhand comments about weaponry are probably, like, below the threshold of things that I should actively be snarky about. Like, something, something low hanging fruit. Yeah, ハルトさんの研究室の掃除でもしようかと思っていた程度ですので葵くんはレナさんを追いかけていってしまったので不在ですよ知ってます当人がいない隙に掃除を済ませてしまおうかと思いましてそれって当番とかなんですかそうですね当番学生は通常週ごとの交代制で今週は私がハルトさんのお世話をしてます前から気になってはいたんですけど葵くんは他の学生とは待遇が違うんですね Yeah, I was a little bit confused by that as well Like He feels More like faculty than student Sort of from like the Reactions everyone else has to him 彼の場合は多少立場が特殊と言いますか書類上は学生という立場にありますがハルトさんは共同員で私たちのハンドラーですからハンドラー直訳すれば訓練士とか調教師という意味になります私たちの母体組織であるサーズにおいては軽装フィサーとエージェントできっちりと作業区分が仕切られていて命令を出す側の軽装フィサーは現場に出ることはめったにありませんですがサーズの会組織である私たちソードでは担当官という役職の代わりに共同員という形でエージェントと共に現場に出て指揮を取りますうう以前にも少し葵くんから説明してもらったんですけどやっぱりピンときませんねそうですねわかりやすく説明してしまうとサーズが社員私たちソードはアルバイトとした場合彼はアルバイトの教育を行う元社員という感じですかねああなるほどでも元社員ということは今の葵くんはアルバイトという形になるんですか I guess that raises the question of like why he's in a student position at, at all? Like is just because of his age? Like, like government mandated education? But no, that doesn't necessarily make sense either, because in Japan you only have to go through the end of middle school, right? Like, high school is,、uh, is optional. So why is he in a, a student position at all? So, this is the case of the student position. The student position is a student position. The student position is a student position. The student position is a サーズの担当官に就任するのが普通ですつまり平社員であるサーズのエージェントから役職のある社員である担当官に昇進するには一度バイトの現場で共同員を経験するのが最も安全な道というわけです Again, makes sense. Doesn't explain why he's acting as a student at all. Hmm, I guess it's like lecturing at a third-rate college for a few years so you can make tenure at a top school? ということは葵くんは担当官を目指してるんですねうーんそれもどうでしょうハルトさんはあまり昇進には興味がないようですし詳しいことはハルトさんに直接聞いた方がいいと思いますでも葵くんは確信めいた話になるとどうもうまくはぐらかすような話し方をするので話を聞いていても要領を得ないことが多いんですよねサーズやソードの話となるとハルトさん自身もどこまで話していいのか迷っているんだと思います確かにそういった部分のお話は知らなくても仕事はできるんですけど職務的な情報はなくても構わないけれど個人的な情報はあった方がいいということでしょうかでも葵くんが私にどこまで話していいか悩むように私もどこまで踏み込んでいいのかと。どうして日本人は道で立ち話をするのかしらね
そういう文化なのだとしたら否定する気もないけど。I don't know if that's a Japanese thing. I think that's just like people thing. People like chatting. Oh, Toka san! Do you stand this? So no home. Net to the two most at a home, I had to sort of tano ya. Nika and Dake was I could get a day. Hokano shot and the two most at a Kekuk and Nishuka Motasareta. Hore wa manga desko? Nani yo, Warui. Ye, so you like it ever. Tada, Scushi, Igai dotta to you go. いいのよ。言いたいことはわかるわ。漫画なんて子供の読むものだって言いたいんでしょ。別に理解してもらおうとは思わないわ。常識人という人種に理解してもらえないのは数学者だって同じ。説明すればするほど返事扱いされるのはわかってるしね。Not sure if that analogy is a hundred percent apropos, but we'll go along with it. Oh my god, again with the stupid flickery screen when I mouse over the top. ちょっと何笑ってんのよいえ何でもないです<笑>だから笑うんじゃないわよえ何です秘密のお話ですか秘密というほどのお話ではないのですがこっちを見ないでお話ししてもつぴよ勝手にすれば<笑> I'm guessing BL あどうかさんじゃあ話しちゃいますねいいんですか実際大した話ではないですよあれはどうかさんが美浜学園に来て2ヶ月ぐらいのことだったと思いますはい、そう、これは少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、少しかかるので、Anyway, I'm starting to lose my ability to like properly say words, which was not great in the first place. So I'm gonna leave now before I make even more of a fool out of myself. Later. <laughs>